Welcome to Daily Rosary Meditations with Dr. Mike Scherslick, where you learn how to meditate and establish a daily habit of prayer while discovering the truths of the Catholic faith. Is there someone you know that could benefit from daily prayer? Share this meditation with them. Welcome to our Daily Rosary Meditation. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's call to mind all those we've promised to pray for. Today we meditate on the second commandment. Do you know what the second commandment is? You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Now, human character, who we are and what we become, is largely conditioned by our language. That's because words are how we crystallize our thoughts and how we hang on to them. For most of us, our very first memories go back right about to the time when we started learning how to talk. Because before you can talk and form words, it's very difficult to hang on to your thoughts. That's also why dictatorial regimes always work very hard to restrict a population's vo vocabulary. Because if they can reduce the words that are available, then they can reduce the thoughts that can be preserved and developed. Finally, the discipline of logic, which is the art of thinking clearly, is only accomplished by using tools connected with language. In other words, we put order into our thoughts by putting order into our speech. We make our ideas sharp by clear definitions. We make our judgments sharp by clear propositions, and we make our arguments sharp by clear syllogisms. What's the point of all this? The point is that how you talk will shape the way you think, and how you think will shape the way you act, and how you act will determine the kind of person you become and where you go for all eternity. So it's no surprise that when God gave his commandments, the very second one on the list had to do with being very careful with our speech. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee thee, blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. So many of us act as though what we say isn't that important. We justify speaking sloppily or inappropriately. We say, I'm just saying, or it's just words. But that's not how the Bible sees language. It sees the way we speak as a crucial dimension of whether or not we're living right. Take St. James. This is his famous warning about what we say. The only man who could reach perfection would be someone who never said anything wrong. He would be able to control every part of himself. Once we put a bit into a horse's mouth to make it do what we want, we have the whole animal under our control. Or think of ships. No matter how large they are, even if a very strong stro storm is driving them, the man at the helm can steer them anywhere he likes by controlling a tiny rudder. So is the tongue only a tiny part of the body, but it can proudly claim that it does great things. Think how small a flame can set fire to a huge forest. The tongue is a flame like that. Among all the parts of the body, the tongue is a whole wicked world in itself. It infects the whole body, catching fire itself from hell. It sets fire to the whole wheel of creation. Wild animals and birds, reptiles and fish can be tamed by man and often are, but no one can tame the tongue. It is a pest that will not keep still, full of deadly poison. We use it to bless the Lord and Father, but we also use it to curse the people around us who are made in God's image. Blessing and curse coming out of the same mouth. Wow. What we say will steer the whole ship of our lives. So we'd better take our words seriously. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
free for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Jesus warned about the evils of careless speech. In fact, one of the most graphic images he ever used involved the dangers of the tongue. He said, It's not what goes into the mouth that defiles a man, but what comes out of his mouth that defiles a man. Do you not see that whatever goes into the mouth passes into the stomach and then so into the latrine? But what comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart, and this defiles a man. For out of the heart come evil thoughts, murder, adultery, fornication, theft, false witness, slander. These are what defile a man. Now, why does Jesus bring up the toilet in this description? Maybe to point out that when we eat something unclean, it will simply go out, in, out of the body immediately, and it won't affect us. But when we say unclean things, the filth is coming out of the wrong end. And that, he says, will defile a person. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Now we all have to consider any time we use God or Jesus or some other holy name in vain, in anger, as a curse, it's so easy to say, OMG, so let's reflect a moment. How often do we do this? It's against the second commandment. And it's a grave sin. We also might be around people who use the name of Jesus, the name of God in vain, and we should do something about it. One of my favorite, no, my favorite football player ever, Barry Sanders, greatest running back 
ever. He used to tell the guys in the huddle, if you don't stop cussing, I ain't running the ball. I have lots of Muslim friends in the Middle East when I go on pilgrimage to the Holy Land. And I guarantee if you ever would take Muhammad's name in vain, they would say something about it. And if you continued to do it in front of them, they would stop you. We're too passive. We're too timid. If people around you use the name of God in vain, then we need to say something. And when you hear it and there's nothing you could do about it, in a song, on the street, in a movie, get in the habit of making reparation to the holy name of God and the holy name of Jesus. Simply say, Christ have mercy on us. Jesus have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Because every sin should be counteracted by its opposite virtue. So use blasphemy committed by others as an opportunity for praise that you can do in reparation. And I'll take you a step further. Google the divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Mary, Joseph, the saints. Find the, the divine praises printed out Say those every day, and throughout the day, say one line of the divine praises as in reparation for all of the blasphemy. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The holiest of all words, the holiest of all names, is the name of Jesus. This is the name he has allowed us to say with great reverence, and the Catechism tells us that when we say this name, it actually causes Jesus himself to be immediately present to us. Now, the second commandment tells us not to take the Lord's name in vain, but our faith tells us that we should take his name in earnest. Jesus means in Hebrew, God saves. Jesus is the only one who can save us from sin and death and the power of evil. 
Satan and the evil spirits fear his name, and in his name his disciples performed miracles. For the Father grants all they ask in his name. A simple but powerful prayer is to simply say the name of Jesus and then welcome his power into your life. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. St. Michael the Archangel, defend, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. May God, God rebuke, rebuke him, we humbly pray, pray. and do, do thou, Prince, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, Teresa, what are your thoughts with this meditation? Oh, no. <laughs> well, it's better than I... what you could have said. <laughs> I don't have a problem with taking the Lord's name in vain. If this was just about straight up cursing, I would have a much bigger issue. Yeah, what what is at the heart of cursing? Why do we curse? I think you want me to say anger, but I think my bigger issue is for comedic effect. Oh, interesting. We, we had this conversation when I was younger. Because I don't know if it was correlated to th this moment. There, there was definitely a time that you got a call from school because <laughs> I'd been cursing at mathletics. <laughs> I was so bad at math in my defense. So that was maybe that was anger. But you said, no, no, no. You should say exceedingly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because... And I said, that just doesn't do the trick. <laughs> Very different effects. Very. I'll explain I use this. It, I use it for theater, for drama, for comedy. Oh, so you, what you're saying is that I use it artistically. Sometimes a vulgar mm -hmm. word uh, will get the point across better. Yes, but here, here's a strict line. I I, th I think about this in comedy when I'm watching like a comedy show, as in like an actual stand-up bit. It's so annoying when they can't stop cursing, and that's the whole joke. 
but a well-placed curse is hard to dislike, and that's what I struggle with. Yeah, this is this is this is a good topic for discussion because I definitely think using the F bomb shows that you are stupid. Wow. It's just vulgar. Yeah. Uh, there are better words at the moment. Now I'm just saying because we have very specific use of the F word in a nothing more song. And I just think it's never been used better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't But I think Johnny Hawkins can say anything and it will sound incredible. I actually think and I know that song and I like the song. Yeah. But I I think there is a better choice of words and it makes them sound stupid. Okay. Now this is just my opinion is now we're just using we're just in a conversation here. Mm -hmm. My opinion is that the F bomb is definitely makes you sound stupid. Yeah. Like you have so little of a vocabulary, mm -hmm. that's all you can come up with. Yeah. I think when it's used I'm not supporting the use of the F bomb. But <laughs> this is just a good conversation. <laughs> I I was just gonna say that there are many ways to use it. It is probably one of the most versatile words in the English language, but when you're using it just in the middle of a sentence and it's not actually adding to it versus there there are times when the word itself is irreplaceable. <laughs> well there's a there's Well, it's re very replaceable. I take that back. But there's a lot of people who use it like others do with um exactly or and, that's when i, I definitely like. think it's it's but, stupid well it's and it's equally as stupid to say um like mm -hmm. and i like the idea that if i if i were a kid uh and i was doing one of the two of those things that you would chastise me in the same way <laughs> 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 but it does what it all comes back to is what are we saying? Why are we saying it? Mm -hmm. And getting control of our feelings with our thinking, which is what makes us human, yeah. not beasts. You need, I think you need to be very, very thoughtful. I, there, there is a blog from an older man that I read that I, I thought. Is this put the it, one from Venezuela? Or no, he, he has a resort in Nicaragua, I think. Oh. Tom Ford, he's really hilarious. Uh, but there's an uh for you. <laughs> he said he thought that people should curse a couple times a day in their 20s, a couple times a week in their 30s and 40s, and then like a couple times a year when, when they get older. I thought that was such an interesting take that he always has very middle of the road takes on everything. And I thought that was very unique. So you're, or is he saying that as you, as you become more mature, you will curse less? He's not saying you will. He's saying you should. You should. He was actually encouraging cursing. Uh, Related, I during this meditation, I was thinking of our Lord's words when he said that we will give an account on our judgment day for every idle word wow. said. Wow. That's heavy. That's what Jesus said. Well, I think this is the interesting point that idleness, I think we mm -hmm. think of idleness as just doing nothing. Neutral. Neutral, laziness. Idle hands are the devil's best friend. Uh, is that what they say? Yeah. Idle, uh, idleness is the devil's workplace, all of it. Yeah. yeah. But it's not just that you're doing nothing if you're not preoccupied. It's that you're not thinking about it. It's really so much of becoming an excellent human mm -hmm. means getting your thinking, getting your brain engaged Yep. In what you're doing. It's really that simple. And it can be just as bad, even beyond using foul language, but just being with someone idly, talking to someone idly. I, I'm saying this as if small talk to me is on the same level as cursing. <laughs> well, it's. I think there is there is a root here. Mm -hmm. Not in, taking value in the words of others, your own words. Not being with them, not using them purposefully. Yeah. Yeah. What... What you think will come out in your words. Mm -hmm. So we need to be thinking about good things. And then we need to be expressing 
those good things in speech with other people. So even though we're going to touch on this again in the, in the Eighth Commandment, you shall not bear false witness, which will touch on mm -hmm. gossip and lying and a whole bunch of things, it, it matters here. Because as uh, Jesus used in that parable, what comes out of your mouth really comes out of your heart. So maybe a good resolution would be for us to review our conversations for the last 24 hours as part of our examination mm -hmm. of conscience. Yeah, I'm going to try to count my curses. I used to try to make a swear jar and then I donate the swear jar to friends of mine who are missionaries right now. Uh, that became a very big issue because I wanted to support my friends. So I was like, I'm doing a service to them <laughs> every time I curse. But maybe just count your curses. Be aware of your own speech because just being aware of it will change how you talk. Very well put. Thanks for the conversation. Well, let's be apostles of friendship, good conversation, and the rosary. Share this with others. If you like this, join us on our app. You'll find the link below.